today's mod is. Introducing Micro Engineer by Micrologist and Falky. Greetings, KSP to player. If you love data, we have just the mod for you. Yeah? It is a way to see every bit of data you ever wanted to see. It will help you push your creations to the very limit. All you need to do is to give it a shot. What can go wrong? First thing, let's check out the micro engineer from inside the VAB. It is pretty much the same as the default staging info to the side, just a little different. The default staging gives you some information micro engineer does not, but micro engineer gives you all of your stats at a quick glance. The biggest difference with micro engineer is it gives you the sea level and the vacuum calculations at the same time, instead of being a setting for that stage. Now, if you're like me, there's times I forget to set my stage settings and I end up with a thrust to weight of 0.89 and go nowhere. With this mod, I find that happens to me a lot less as the values are visible at a quick glance. Microengineer also does not show the starting weight, nor does it have the altitude settings for each stage, but as it displays the data for both sea level and vacuum, it really doesn't need to. But if you still need the atmosphere settings for some crazy staging, you still have them in the default system for that. Moving on from here, we're going to check it out in game view. In game, we can get to it the same way via the app bar. Although now we have a bunch of collapsible panels, each displaying a different set of data and measurements. These can be modified and you can even create your own and we're going to go over that at the end. The first panel is Vessel. Now I believe mine is modified so yours may be different after the thrust to weight value. The cool part is thrust and thrust to weight. As I change the thrust limiter on my engine, they update. KSP devs, please take note. This would be really cool on the maneuver node. This way, if we updated our limiter after making a maneuver node, we would still have the correct start and end times for our burn. In orbital, we have all the standard values, even inclination and eccentricity of our orbit. But the important ones besides just the higher precision decimals is the orbital period. This is really helpful when you're trying to set up satellite networks. In surface, you'll have altitude both in ground and sea level at the same time, as well as your velocities in vertical and horizontal, your situational status, and even your latitude and longitude. Flight has all of your data for orientation and aerodynamic forces along with drag. We'll check this out later at the end with an actual jet. For right now, we are in a vacuum, so we can't do them. At the moment, target and maneuver have nothing as we have no target or maneuver. Staging gives you, that's right, staging information. Good in the case if you can't open the default staging info. And lastly brings us to for science. This gives you anything that's relative to gathering science. The ones I really like at the bottom are the atmosphere, low orbit, and high orbit values. These give you the two most important values is where's the atmosphere start and where's the sphere of influence end. But also good in cases if you need to gather data from a very specific high or low altitude, this lets you get right to the point without having to bob around and find that right altitude. You can leave everything all in one panel, but it gets a little long if you have too many things open all at once. Now let's just close all of these and we will look at a better way. What you can do to help with that is use the pop out feature. So if we really just need orbital and four science sections, we can just use the last button in the header and pop those parts out into their own panel system. For any that you pop out, the collapse function will still work. And just like in the main window, when you hover over them, they're purple. And when you move off of them, they'll be gray. Keep in mind, you can't drag them from the purple. I keep trying to, but only from the border or the center. So I try and use the center. So let's grab our four science panel also. And we can place these anywhere and they will just snap to each other also, which is pretty helpful for placing them out. There are some other options if we go into any of the gear settings. One of the main ones being the locked checkbox. This, if you lock it, it's going to prevent us from being able to move it around. 
and there is a visual change of the border disappearing as well. So we will also do the same with our four signs panel and lock that. As mentioned, with them being locked, they can no longer be placed. However, now if we collapse them, if our mouse is over top of them, they are purple, but if we move off of it, now they're transparent. So it's really nice for keeping the UI clean. Then to clean up anything else, we can just minimize Micro Engineer and be left with just the two that we wanted. I do not know where Micro Engineer goes. Usually once I minimize it, I have to go and turn it off and turn it back on to get the main one back, but it's a minor quirk. There are a few other quirks with this. One being if we go and pop out our target, we can see that it just disappears and the same thing if we pop out the maneuver. These will do it if you pop them out and you do not have a target or a maneuver set. They like to hide if you don't have something set for them. So here's how to get them back. So in this case, we're going to jump over to the map view. And in the case of the maneuver system, we are just going to make a quick maneuver node. As soon as that is up, it will show up. There is the delete button. If we hit that or the delete function in the burn timer, it's going to go away again. And it is also the same behavior for the target system. So if we set the moon as a target, our target comes back. If we clear it, it goes away. If you want to put them back into the main panel, set a maneuver or target for either one, and then just close the panel. Anytime that you close a panel, it's automatically going to go back to the micro engineer panel. Once they are back in the main panel, removing the maneuver or target um, will not actually cause them to disappear so that you can clear your maneuver and targets. In rare cases, I've had to switch between game and map view to get a panel to show back up, but I've had that with other mods, and I think it's more of a bug with the UI mod package that all the mods use, and not something that is micro-engineer specific. Similar with using the X to close the window. In the apps menu, it's going to show a green bar saying that it's running, and clicking that's just gonna turn it off. Running it again will actually relaunch micro-engineer and have it show up. For making your own custom panels, just go into any of your settings and click new. And then all we're gonna do is just give it a name. In my case, I'm gonna call this rendezvous. And for this one, I'm gonna go into the target menu. And from there, we are going to add distance to target and relative speed, as well as the target's name. And we can also move the target name to the top with the side buttons to move it up or down. One other one I really like is inside miscellaneous. There is a separator. We just have to find him. Where was he? Oh, there he is, separator. Let's add that. That gives us this nice little orange line in our window. And we're gonna move that up to just below target name. Now, if you want, you can be really picky. And I personally don't like that my one is called rel speed and that the speed is not capital. So I wanna change that and actually rename it to be relative speed with a capital on the S. And we're gonna test out our first little custom panel here. And I am going to set a target for the moon and we can see all of our data comes up into our panel. The really cool thing with this one is if I clear it, the panel doesn't disappear. So if you want some ever persistent information for target or maneuver, you can just make a custom panel. You can also change the decimal precision in the settings window. There are these two little buttons beside each one. One will increase and the other one is gonna decrease how many decimal values there is for a given field. So you can have as many or as less as you want and different for each field. And to the tarmac. We're gonna do a quick demo for the flight section and the aerodynamic values. Now here we can see we have a speed of millimeters per second. So pretty precise values. But that is pretty standard as pretty much any physics engine. If you're sitting still, you're going to have a little jitter. Now, something to keep in mind to save from being presented with insanely large or small values to like the negative 17th decimal, the scales for the values are dynamic. So based on how large or small the number is, is what unit it's going to show. So we started out with millimeters per second. And now our speed is measuring with meters per second. So keep that in mind to check your units if you are writing any values down for later. Another thing to note, the lift to drag values is different than what the wing gives in the part manager. 
This comes from the part manager being only a single part, whereas micro engineer is doing the total sum of the craft. So good if you're having problems getting off the ground, it can let you know that overall you are light on lift. Best part with this mod is that you can make it your own. You can show what you want, where you want, how you want, when you want. And you can even make your own custom data panels and hide all the rest. So make it your own. It's a good mod. It's definitely worth giving a try. It may not be for everyone. Some may love it. Some may hate it. Depends on if you're a data person or not. But I think it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next mod review.